Hi, welcome back to Commander Speedy's channel. Recording today is all about Elite's competition, a speed run on docking in the space station. The intention is, is to uh, find out who's the, got the most skill f in flying a basic sidewinder. So we've all gone off and gone into the tutorial, the intention of which players fly out five kilometers away from the space station with their backs to the wall have to fly and return back to the space station on land as quickly as possible. Uh, we've seen some phenomenal speeds, uh, 30 sub 40 second uh, speeds, in fact I think there's a 34 registered which you can go and see on other YouTube channels. I've um, clearly wanted to join in as well. What you would have just seen up until this point is uh, me flying out the 5k. I just wanted to show you that um, I generally did go out to where I was all to start. Players have been able to find quick ways of doing better manoeuvres in this ship. One of the ways that um, certainly I've learned from is using the boost button and then turning off the thrusters. By doing so, you will actually maintain the velocity that you're running at. So the intention is, is to turn off those thrusters at the prime moment that you're speeding forward. But then you're then playing a game of chicken with the space station because obviously you need to turn those thrusters back on before you then try and land your ship. However, by turning them on and then trying to fly into the docking space itself, that's where you're going to lose a lot of speed Request and momentum. Granted. And that's where the slowdown comes. Now, some of the videos that I've seen have been a phenomenal in which they've actually flown straight through the gate and then docked almost perfectly and rotated with the space station. For me, I've still got gripes with the fact that when I look at the opening there's a green on one side and a red light on the opposite side and because I'm colour blind I can't see either of them so I'm straight at a disadvantage. So depending on what landing pad I'm given depends on how better I cope with that feature or I just randomly take a guess go through the enclosure and hope I'm going to land. And that's what I've done on multiple times. So, on this video you would have seen me attempt four times. The first time I had a horrendous crash through the door but managed to land with my shields intact for 55 seconds. And then I've gradually brought that down to a sub 50 second, in fact a 49 second um, attempt which I was really pleased with. But then I've then reverted back to about a 52, 53 seconds. So I've got to a point that I'm finding it very hard now. It's more a test of nerves rather than the technical skill of flying. There is an element of picking the right landing pad and somebody has kindly on the forums provided a map of where all the landing bays are so you can actually restart your tutorial until you get a favourable one. Um, I'm not inclined to, do, to go to that extreme just purely because I don't have the time but I'm pleased with my attempts and I'm hoping my submission will at least be taken in and at least registered that I've got sub 50 which I'm, I'm very very pleased with. Um, you'll also notice with amongst these videos there's several points I've, I've collided through the um, forced my way through the entrance but I still managed to land I've, when I've come to land, I've actually landed heavily, of which I've then bounced back. And landing it in a horrible way, but these are the things that happen. There are a couple of issues that I think that I've come across. Every now and again you'll have a problem in which you can't land, and that's because the fact the ship is round the wrong way. Now, I've, a couple of attempts I forgot to get permission to enter the space station, and then I don't know whether it's co coincidence, but when I've flown back into that space station, having got permission, that's when I've not been able to land. It's them refusing that I, don't matter which way I turn the ship round, and in fact I had a very fast, it, which was just typical, I had a very fast entry on land, of which I just couldn't get the, the space station to register. And looking back at the video, I think I would have been the lower 40s because of that. So that was quite frustrating, but overall I'm happy with actually giving this a go with the speed run. I'm happy with my tactics, I'm happy with the speed I enter in the space station, 
um, and there may be a better way of achieving this but I'm going to leave it to the experts. Engines disengaged. This is Commander Speedy signing off.